Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, um, just got up from a nap, and um, I'm gonna try to be fairly quick about this, um, because I gotta work tonight, so I gotta leave for that here, and I'd probably say about a half hour, 45 minutes, so I'm gonna try to keep this short. And then, um, for the music, I'm just gonna have this running in the background. It's, um, uh, Space Lo-Fi Radio, um, Aesthetic Lo-Fi Hip Hop Beats to Chill To, and according to the description, this is all free to use. So, copyright free. So, just kind of have that right in the background. Well, um, a guy named DJ Screw suggested I try, suggested this new, um, this new team to try. And, um, I have seen this team before and beaten it in PvP. But, um, but, um, nope, 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 nope. Uh, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people are familiar with this. Um, rope dart, you know, it essentially deals true damage because it gets rid of all armor from somebody and deals 31 damage on top of it. Then you pull them to first position. Um, but yeah, the big one, after you, uh, after you, uh, after you use this on somebody and entangles them, and then you get an extra turn on top of it. And then, um. Okay, Merfolk. Divine. Divine. So. So. One moment, one moment. <sighs> oh. oh, excuse me. Anyway. And then I guess the big one here. All the divines, her and all this guy here, they start with 40% mana. She um, transforms red gems to skulls and green gems to yellow. Then enchant two random allies, uh, Quilly. Give everybody uh, extra magic on four and five matches. Start a light storm at the start of battle. Then convert purple to gems to red and brown to skulls. And you bless two random allies. Um, this somewhat reminds me of uh, probably the very first Magic the Gathering deck that I ever made. Um, I call it the Landscaper deck because, uh, but it uh, it was centered around uh, changing everybody's lands, like changing like if somebody has mountains, you change them to plains, or you, you could just I could just change uh, everybody's lands to whatever I wanted to, and then eventually I would um I had a I had a few cards that would actually deal damage to those people based on how many of those particular lands that they had. So this this team here is starting to kind of remind me of that. Oh, and um, and I'm also having a hamburger as well. So. Okay, and then Mooney Rabbit. Converts blue to yellow, yeah. This is almost like the uh, Landscaper deck I used to make back, back, or I made back in the 90s. When I was into Magic the Gathering. And then Banner, Frostfire, and then Weapon, I already showed you. But yeah. The, but right now, Tidecaller is only level 2, so I just have that. drawback to this I mean overall I did do a couple couple battles no I kind of like it one big drawback though is it's, it's not a goblin deck so there's gonna be a lot of back and forth with these battles unless I can manage to maintain continuous four matches but that that won't always be the case so I guess I'll start with him off he goes, and I get another turn. And, um, I guess... Brown to skull. Red to skull. So 
So I guess uh, whatever I have more of. <clears throat> and um, I guess that's kind of a kind of a drawback too is uh, I tend to like um like teams that don't require me to target anything. Like I think uh, my goblin builds are like that. They just deal damage to all all enemies. But it it's just a personal preference thing. It's not a knock on this team or anything. So, once again. Nope. Yes. Yeah, like I said, there's gonna be a lot more back and forth with these uh battles. I don't get four matches at the start, then... I guess there could be a little bit of strategy involved in this. Like, um, I might want to mana block somebody. So I guess her. try a difficulty 12. Just gonna kind of go for broke here. Take his armor off. Legendary. So... Green gems to yellow. At this point, I really don't know what to aim for. I mean, none of them have armor and they're all entangled. So, I guess, just, uh... But 
I'm not... I'm not sure if there's any kind of specific order I have to do these in. And that's something else, too. Since that battle went fairly quick, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more, and then I'll probably end up calling it good. Or oh, I'll probably do the uh, mythic boss afterwards. She was frozen. probably have to play this build a lot more just to get a feel of uh, which one of the two I should be doing first or if there's like an order I'll just do that take him off But, um, I guess another drawback, um, I used to have a, what I call a NyQuil build, but uh, one of its biggest weaknesses was, uh, Stealthy. I'd be pretty much forced to use AoE in that build until eventually I got it down to just the Stealthy enemies. I gotta do more of these. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I kind of kind of messed that up. But let me, yeah, let me bail out of that. Let me look at my tide collar class. Let's see what hit it. Let, let me see what it has. So yeah, immunity to frozen. Probably anti magic spear. Probably mana source. Deluge. Not really sure here. I'm guessing. I'm guessing blue. Not really sure here either. But yeah. So. So it doesn't have a rock. It doesn't have a rock solid. So that. Uh, let's 
What the hell? Why not? Let's do one more. But yeah, I do gotta shut down soon, though. I gotta, let me whip this to be over. I gotta do something else real quick. Okay. Okay, I just now looked at it, yeah. Quillen and then Ishbala. But yeah, I, um, I, um, I PM, or, I instant messaged um, some of my regulars on my, on my stream to let them know that I wasn't streaming today. It just, before I laid down this morning, I had a sinus problems and a sore throat. Just like, shortly before I was going to lay down. So, needless to say, I didn't sleep very well. So, I'm just, and this is my work night, so it wasn't like I was going to be on for a long time anyway. So, yeah, but he, um, but sometime after... He instant messaged me this uh, build here. That's how I, that's how I found out about it. Not my goblin build, but so far I'm liking it. Okay, that didn't go so good. All my hard work. Yeah, I'll just shut him down. Alright, I gotta do something real quick.
blue one. So. There we go. <laughs> okay. Mythic boss. Up you go. Did it. And, um, that's a rare one right there, Token of Anu. So, let me, um, so let me do a, let me do a ranked PvP here. And, uh, that one looks almost like one of mine. Sans the, um, without the turnip. Oops. So. Okay, mess that up.
gotta buy him a top. Um. Did it. Okay. <sighs> okay, so... Okay, so... The final verdict, I like it. Um, I'll probably play it more often. Um, not as much as my goblin builds. I'm a, I'm a goblin kind of player, but, um, but yeah, still pretty playable. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll probably, I'll, I don't know how often I'll play it in or how, how often I'll play it, but uh, I guess it'd be a good way to level tide collar as well. So, but otherwise that's going to do it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, kill it here because I'm going to have to start getting ready for work here in a bit. So, but. Otherwise, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll happy thank oh, and happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and see you all next time. <laughs> Bye now.